nowhere I can pop you guys. This is crazy. You guys, I'm in Japan. Oh my god. It is currently my spring break and I'm here with a class for my school. I signed up and I got the spot. It's obviously it's limited. It's like a wait list, whatever. But I'm here and I'm so excited. Basically, we're just gonna be touring Kyoto for a week. We had to write like a few research papers beforehand. So I already learned quite a bit about Kyoto and its history and like the traditions. So I'm really excited. I just got ready. I'm gonna head down to hotel breakfast and then we're gonna get started with our day. So let's go. shrine i don't know what it's called it's so beautiful so far it's really rainy today and cold but it's okay because we're gonna get some warm food after this shrine visit here's my fit this blue sweater and my favorite leather jacket <laughs> Like it feels like a tour bus because like, it's like this elevated door. Walk in. Oh, no. <laughs> I just live inside, and this is it. Yep, this is the little room, and she's really cute. I'm so gassed. We walked like literally over 10 miles today. But we went to this huge, huge like shopping center. It was really cool, and they had a lot of vintage shops too. So naturally, I dragged everybody that was with me inside there, and they got some cool stuff. I got some cool stuff. Of course, I gravitated towards jewelry. Let me show you guys what I got. I got this pair of earrings. They're so beautiful. Like, are you kidding? They're clip-on. I've never tried clip-on earrings. So Hopefully they're gonna stay I on. I got this ring right here. I loved today. We went to a castle. It's called the Jojo Castle, which was really nice. And then we went to Daigoji Temple. It's so beautiful here. It's just, I love it. It's like a mix of beautiful nature and history and gorgeous architecture, but then it's also modern. So it's really, really cool. If you ever get the chance to come to Japan, definitely go to Kyoto. I know Tokyo is like the main point of attraction. We're not going to Tokyo. I I definitely want to come back to Japan at some point and go visit that. I'm excited to take you guys through it all. I don't know if I'm like jet lagged because I slept most of the 14 hour flight here plus I slept a little bit on the two hour flight to Kyoto. Anyways, I hope you all are doing well and I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. I really want to try the McDonald's here. <laughs> Honestly, like I really want to try American fast food here because the menus are like completely different and unique. I know it's like, why would you go to a McDonald's when you're in Japan? The prices are insane. I had like the biggest lunch ever the best matcha of my life, first of all. And everybody was saying like, oh my God, this is the best matcha of my life. And then I tried it and I was like, oh my God, this is the best matcha of my life. No joke. Not surprised because we're in Japan. And it was only $13. I thought I was about to drop like at least $30 on this lunch. Another another incentive and reason as why you should come to Japan if you get the chance. I will talk to you guys. 
tomorrow. Lots, lots more traveling and trips and cool places to see. I love you guys. Excuse my exhaustion. <laughs> It's raining all day today. So this shrine that we were just at, we weren't allowed to film inside, but basically it was this big, big temple. You would just walk through and it was a thousand <laughs> statues of the goddess Canon. And then it was protected by a bunch of deities. I also hope I'm saying that right. Each deity had a like, different fortune that they could bless you with, whether it was like fertility or like, good grades on exams. And in between the a thousand statues was one massive Canon statue. And there was a monk praying. It was absolutely beautiful.
we're all in our rooms right now trying to heat up because we went to a temple and a shrine but it was pouring rain it's been pretty rainy here these past few days it was actually like i'm not even gonna lie it was pure misery it was beautiful and we got to see beautiful things but we were like in a forest and all of our shoes and socks got soaked through we all have umbrellas and like jackets and stuff but it was horrible we really really far from the hotel had to take like the longest bus ride home sopping wet hungry and everything so now we're all in our rooms trying to warm up i literally started using the blow dryer and blasting that all over my body and now i'm just like rotting in bed so that's my current update that's my status it should be the last day of rain though which is really nice it was bearable the first two days but after today i'm just like bro not again and <laughs> when we got back to the hotel all our rooms were under housekeeping so we couldn't even like go inside but i'm starting to warm up now which is nice i think all of us are gonna go out to eat some ramen or some udon noodles which is my current obsession i love udon now well, i never tried it before coming here but so so good i also really need to try soba noodles i'm so hungry